During the 21st ASEAN-China, Japan and South Korea leaders meeting, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said the Association of Southeast Asian Nations and other East Asian countries could do more on the financial front. He recommended measures that will strengthen regional financial security for better risk management and bailout mechanisms. In the meeting, Li also proposed mechanisms to promote regional economic integration and deepen cooperation in culture, innovation and development among the 10 plus 3 countries. Emphasizing the need for multilateralism, Premier Li once again stressed the need to take actions to promote free trade in the face of rising protectionism. We need to take concrete actions to uphold rules-based fair trade regime and to send a positive message to the market to provide a stable, predictable, free and world-based environment and conditions for the market. If we can do that, it will be our contribution to regional development and also to world peace and stability. Singapore Prime Minister Li Xianlong held similar sentiments as ASEAN leaders met their counterparts from China, Japan and South Korea for the 21st ASEAN Plus 3 meeting. The Prime Minister raised ASEAN's concerns over the U.S.-China trade tensions. He went on to emphasize that ASEAN Plus 3 members need to work closer in an unpredictable strategic landscape. Major power rivalry is on the rise, manifesting itself in competing visions for the regional architecture and in a growing trade war. The digital revolution has empowered us to forge closer networks than ever possible. At the same time, it has made us more vulnerable to cyber attacks. These developments call for the APT members to close ranks and to, double, to redouble our efforts to uphold multilateralism. During the meeting, leaders from Japan and South Korea also touched upon the key issues affecting the region, including economic matters, the environment, health care and cyber security. Zhang Dan, CGTN.